And this is muriatic acid. I have it in my little uh, tout because you don't want to put it directly on the deck. Sometimes there's residue on here. So if you put it on the deck, you'll leave a ring of acid basically and you'll stain the deck. You also don't want to spill any on your deck either because it'll actually stain it pretty badly. And I suggest if you're inexperienced, you wear gloves. If you get any on your hands with any kind of cut, uh, it'll burn. And you always want to wear goggles or safety sunglasses. These are approved safety glasses that I wear out on my route. Um, you don't want to get any acid in your eye because it's really, really bad to get any splash from the pool into your eye. I'm going to do the acid demand test with this uh, five-way test kit. I'm going to add a couple drops of the chlorine neutralizer. Five drops of solution two. And I'm going to shake it around. And this one here has a pH of about 8.2. So for the acid demand, we're going to use the same water sample. We're going to add solution 3 and count the drops until it gets so the color changes to 7.4. So I added two drops there. And I swirl it around. And that looks like it's about where I want it. So two drops changes to 7.4. So this 5-in-1 test kit comes with an acid demand chart. This pool is about 25,000 gallons. So if I go over here, it says I need, with two drops changing it to 7.4, I need two and a half pints. So it's very important to know how many gallons of water in your pool. So I have a video on my channel that teaches you how to calculate the amount of water in your pool. And the strength of the acid that you buy varies. This one here, I, I like to get them from the pool store because they're much stronger. This one's 31% muriatic acid. And when you pour the acid, you're going to walk away from... As you pour, you're going to walk away in one direction. And don't double back because then you'll get hit by the fumes. Okay, you want to pour it in the deepest part of the pool. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it. And I'm going to walk to my right. And as, if, as I pour it, the fumes are going to actually go off to my left here. You can actually see the toxic gas. I'm not sure if the video will show it, but you can actually see it rising from the pool. And the trichlor tablets do have acid and they release it slowly in your pool as they melt. That's why the pH in your pool tends to stay in the ideal range when you use trichlor tablets.